Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, but that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode. This time we're going to look at part two, this is number two out of a series of two, uh, on the topic, Don't Throw Away That Compact Camera. And this is the experimental part. Now I have a hypothesis or an educated guess. And that is, is that if you follow my five suggestions in the first video, um, and which I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures to demonstrate that, um, and it's pretty hard to tell if a photograph came from a little cheap digicam like, like this, or if it came from a pretty expensive DSLR. Now please be advised, I am in no way saying that this camera is capable of taking an image with the quality of a DSLR. I'm not saying that. So what in the world am I saying? I'm saying that Digicams, especially the more modern ones now, take very good pictures. If you doctor them up a little bit with some of the suggestions that I've given you in the first part, and then if you view them the way that most people view them, it's kind of hard to judge where that picture came from. What do I mean by viewing? Well, most people view photographs on social media sites like uh, Facebook where they can press the image or maybe I certainly have people that will come into my office and they'll pull out of their pocket their cell phone or their uh, camera and they'll say hey doc look at this new uh, dog I have or here's a picture of my grandchild and these screens just don't have the resolution that is capable in, in the actual photograph and so that's kind of compressed or they might give you a compressed file via email or even send you an instant message all of those are limited and because of that they even the playing field out just a bit making it more difficult for the typical person to know where that picture came from which is a good thing because these cameras are a lot less expensive but again I am not saying that these are as good as DSLRs uh, just in this one instance so what are we going to do? Well, I've gone through my photographic library and I tried to select a lot of typical snapshot type pictures, really went back in time, and uh, I've divided these pictures into four groups. Pictures from cell phone-like devices, really very small sensors, pictures from compact cameras, pictures from micro four-third cameras, that's a level up, and pictures from DSLR light cameras. Now I'm going to be talking a lot, so I'll probably be drinking water, so excuse me. I just got to do it. My lips are dry. Thanksgiving just happened. Too much salt. Anyways, so so let me tell you a little bit more about that. The the cell phone type cameras are, there's one, uh, there's, there's pictures from an Android phone, there's pictures from an iPhone, and pictures from an iPad. For, when we talk about the compact cameras, I actually have nine different cameras represented. They range from Walmart specials to what would be called like a hobbyist level camera. Um, I did not include the Canon G1X. I just think that sensor is way too big and it's really more like a DSLR. So that's not included in the compact camera group. Um, in the Micro Four Thirds, group. I have two cameras, one representing Olympus and one representing Panasonic. So those, those are the two big manufacturers of those cameras. And in the DSLR group, I have five different cameras. Again, the big thing that I would call a DSLR is if it had an APS-C sensor. That's a very large sensor if you don't know it. And that's one of the things that makes a DSLR a DSLR. So I would include, for instance, there are some pictures from a um, Fuji uh, X100 camera, which is a very good camera. It just doesn't have interchangeable lenses or a pentaprism, but it's a DSLR on all accounts. So uh, those are those are the cameras that we're going to use, and we're going to show you a bunch of pictures now, very short order. So we have paper and pencil ready. Pause if you don't, and get a piece of paper and a pencil, and we're going to show you these. And what you need to do to determine is, do you think it came from a cell phone? Did it come from a compact camera, which I call often a digicam? Did it come from a micro four thirds camera? Or did it come from a DSLR-like camera? Um, and remember that each picture is completely independent from the other pictures. I mean, for instance, in a, in a series, most of them could come from DSLRs or none of them could or whatever. So each picture is completely independent. Judge each picture based on its own merits. So I'm gonna switch over here and get to the pictures and we're going to start looking at them. So are you ready? 
Okay, here we go. These, this series is called Flowers. This is picture one, picture two, picture three, picture four, picture five, picture six, picture seven, picture eight, picture nine, picture ten, picture eleven, picture twelve, picture thirteen. All right, now we're going to move to the largest segment of pictures because I think this is what most people take pictures of. We're going to call this faces. I guess you could call it people too, but we're going to call it faces. So get ready for the second series. And by the way, if you have no idea, draw, draw a little dash or something just to save this, the spot. Uh, but again, the categories are, is this from a cell phone, a compact camera, a micro four thirds camera, or a, like a DSLR like camera. So let's go. This is picture one. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. This is picture five. This is picture six. This is picture seven. This is picture eight. This is picture nine. This is picture 10. This is picture 11. This is picture 12. This is picture 13. This is picture 14. This is picture 15. This is picture 16. This is picture 17. This is picture 18. This is picture 19. This is picture 20. This is picture 21. This is picture 22. This is picture 23. This is picture 24. This is picture 25. This is picture 26. This is picture 27. This is picture 28. This is picture 29. This is picture 30. This is picture 31. Okay, that's the biggest series called People or Faces, whatever you like. We're going to have a shorter series now called Black and White Photos. So get your pencils ready. Here we go. This is picture one. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. This is picture five. This is picture six. This is picture seven. This is picture eight. This is picture nine. This is picture 10. This is picture 11. This is picture 12. And this is picture 13. Okay, that was the black and white photo series. We're now going to move into another small series called Action Shots. So draw a line to separate it and let's see if you can figure out where the photos came from. Again, compact camera, a little comp or, or excuse me, cell phone camera, a little compact camera or called Digicam, a, a micro four thirds camera or a DSLR light camera. So let's look at action shots. This is picture one. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. This is picture five. This is picture six. And this is picture seven. Okay, another short series called At the Beach or Beach Shots. Are you ready? Draw a line to separate and let's go. This is picture one. 
this is picture two, this is picture three, this is picture four. All right, again, that's, that's at the beach or beach shots. Draw a line to separate the next category, which are vacation shots. This is a little bit bigger series, not as big as people. The people series or faces series, but a little bit bigger. Here we go, ready? This is picture one, and I apologize for that bloopy noise. I thought I had turned it off. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. This is picture five. This is picture six. This is picture seven. This is picture eight. This is picture nine. This is picture 10. This is picture 11. This is picture 12. This is picture 13. Picture 14. This is picture 15. This is picture 16. This is picture 17. This is picture 18. And this is picture 19. Okay, now we're gonna move into some random shots. Every family takes these random shots of stuff. So here's a smaller series of random shots. This is picture one. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. This is picture five. This is picture six. This is picture seven. This is picture eight. And this is picture nine. Now for some reason I have a very small series called Flags. I don't know why I did this one, but I did it. So get ready for draw a line to separate and this is called Flags. This is picture one. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. And this is picture five. That's flags. All right, our next series, another small series called low light. So these are low light images and uh, draw a line to separate and let's look at this small series. This is picture one. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. This is picture five. This is picture six. Okay, that's we have one more series to go, and that series is called Fun FX or Fun Effects. And these are like the you know the fun things that you see people post, Instagram and that sort of thing. But again, this could come from any camera, so don't assume that it's from a cell phone. This is picture one. This is picture two. This is picture three. This is picture four. This is picture five. And this is picture six. All right, that's the whole series. And your hands probably sore right now. Maybe you want to pause this and get a drink of water. I need a drink of water after talking so much. So here I go again. And I'm going to try to move this down and get my other screen up and there I am I can see myself on the computer all right so we're gonna give you the answers now and I'm gonna read them rapid fire what I want you to do is circle the correct answer so if you have a correct answer you're going to circle it um, if you if the answer is incorrect uh, you don't circle it so we're gonna add them up at the end all right this is the flower series DSLR compact DSLR compact Four thirds, four thirds, compact, DSLR, compact, compact, four thirds, DSLR, compact. So those, those are the answers. Circle only the correct ones. Now we're going to move into the people or the faces series, and this is the longest series. Are you ready? Well, I lost count doing the people account, so I have to do it over again. So let's try it again. I'm going to use my finger to figure this out. Compact DSLR, compact DSLR, compact, compact, cell phone, compact, 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 micro four thirds, compact DSLR, compact, cell phone, 
compact, compact, compact. Micro four thirds, compact, 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 compact. Micro four thirds, micro four thirds, compact, compact, and DSLR. Now the one thing that last DSLR, that portrait picture, is a, is a recent shot, but I actually used my original uh, Digital Rebel from 2003. It has a awesome six megapixels maximum resolution. I used it just for fun, although I do have other DSLRs. And you can see even those old cameras work sometimes. Okay, moving into black and white. Are you ready? Circle the right answer. Micro Four Thirds, DSLR, Micro Four Thirds, DSLR. Compact, compact, DSLR, Micro Four Thirds, DSLR, compact, compact, Micro Four Thirds, and DSLR. So that's the black and white series. All right, we're going to go into the action series. So these are the action photographs. Again, circle the correct answers, leave the other ones blank. DSLR, compact, 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 Micro Four Thirds, compact. Okay, at the beach. Uh, so again, circle the right answers only. Compact, compact, micro four thirds, compact. Vacation shots. Are you ready? It's another little bit longer series. Micro four thirds, compact, compact, micro four thirds, compact, micro four thirds, compact, DSLR, DSLR, micro four thirds, micro four thirds, Compact, uh, micro four thirds, micro four thirds, micro four thirds, micro four thirds, compact, cell phone, and micro four thirds. Again, circle the right answer. All right, the next series was random. Here we go. Micro four thirds, compact, micro four thirds, compact, micro four thirds, micro four thirds, compact, compact, micro four thirds. Next series, flags. Ready? Circle the right answers. DSLR, compact, 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 compact. Okay, low light series. Are you ready? Compact, 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 compact. All compact. Now that wasn't some plot on my part. The reality is, is those types of pictures I usually just have a compact camera, which is why I have more of one type for another. On vacations, I tend to take a micro four thirds, that kind of thing. Okay, the last series, FX. You ready? Compact, DSLR, cell phone, compact, micro four thirds, DSLR. All right. So, uh, what I, you want to do right now is pause me again, add up all of your circles, and then start this video up again. All right. Okay. So you've added all of your numbers up. So let's look at what we'd call maybe an acceptable grade. Now I will tell you that I would absolutely, personally, I would fail this test. But in the US anyways, a C is considered kind of an okay passing grade. So a C is typically about 75% which correct, which would mean that you would have to have 85 or more pictures correctly identified. To get a, a C, you know, maybe a little less if you want to want to stretch the point. So, if you actually had 85 or more correct answers, then you are an awesome superstar, and you are far better than me as far as determining uh, where a picture came from. So, good for you. If not, what it really says is that you can take very nice pictures with a compact camera. And so, if you are a just a snapshot shooter. Again, go to that first video, learn those five rules. And that this is not this this particular set of videos is not for the hobbyist or it's not for the professional shooter. Of course, I'm not a professional shooter. Now you might ask why were there so many of different types, like why so many compact pictures or you know in the vacation shots there were more micro four thirds pictures. Those are that tends to be the type of cameras that I use in those situations for around about stuff. I use a compact camera when I'm trying to be more creative, or if I'm in the right setting, I use a DSLR. My favorite camera uh, type is the Micro Four Thirds. I think it's the best balance. That often goes on vacation with me, so that's the reason why there was no intentional bias. That's why I told you to judge each picture independently of the other pictures. Anyways, uh, so uh, I would say if you have some time, give my free podcast. 
uh, a listen. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike, and it's on iTunes and other places. Otherwise, you have an absolutely wonderful day, and uh, if you watch this whole video and took the test, good for you, and thanks for doing it. Oh, let me know in the comments if you how you did. Take care.